Good morning. So today I'm going to be doing a little house tour, a little backstory. Me and my husband live here on base on Campo June. This is the Heroes Manor housing. And we bought a house off base, so we're going to be moving in a couple weeks. But before I started to pack and everything, I wanted to do a little tour and show you guys how me and my husband set up our house. June, we've been here for about a year and a half. So we're going to go ahead and start from outside. Alright, so here's the outside. And walking in towards the house, we have a patio out here. Uh, well, over there is like the trash can enclosure. We put little rocking chairs out here and this mat is actually like one of the first things I've got for the house. And here's a little sign for the front door. Walking in, we go into the front room of the house. This is called the front room and we're always greeted by Mochi and Mattis. This room is basically used for anything. We had our dining table in here at once, but then my husband started a little barber, barber thing. And he cuts hair, so we moved it in here. Um, here we have the dog's cages. I put a little shelving up there, macrame plant shelves up there. And then here is the entryway table, and this is what we have. I also put some wallpaper up here. But yeah, this is the front room. Here we have the kitchen on the left side. Here we have a little mail holder. Uh, the dog's food and water station and walking into the kitchen here we have a bar right here set up with bar stools a little calendar up there uh, this is the pantry here's a view of the whole kitchen um, there's a bunch of cabinet space for sure which I also put some more wallpaper on this side or in the kitchen. But there's that. Here's the view from the kitchen out coffee station. And that is the kitchen. For this side, we're gonna go towards the living room. So we this is where we put the dining table that was in the front room. We put it in here. It was a little small, so it fits perfectly in this spot. Um, while going towards the right side, we see the living room. Here's the whole space. And I've actually done some rearrangements like throughout the time that we've been here. So this is the whole living room. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this way um, towards this. This is a coat closet. Going around to this side is the half bathroom. So this this house is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. So this is the half bathroom that we have. It's downstairs. We have the sink and a toilet and some cabinet space right there we have a mirror and this is the whole view of it and here is a gear closet I'm not sure if that's what it's called but it's a closet that we use for my husband's gear um, the dog stuff, the treats and stuff, boxes that we're going to be using to pack up our stuff cleaning supplies over here on this side straight ahead is the laundry we have a sink and a table uh, this sink, we actually use it for the dogs, for their baths. Um, I went ahead and made these signs right here for the laundry room. There's a big wall. And here on the left side of the, of the room, we have the washer and dryer hookups. The house does not, did not include washer and dryer, so we had to get our own. But here's that side. Here is the garage the home gym that we me and my husband um, set up over here uh, the other side sorry we have a bunch of mess because we're trying to get rid of stuff and trying to pack stuff but this is what we did with the garage we had the home gym on the left side and then on the other side we had a work table a workbench and yeah this was a really nice space. we're gonna go ahead and go to the upstairs there's mochi but here's the upstairs um, it's going to have a little hallway up here where you can go either right or left. We're going to go ahead to the master bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. Here's a view from the window to the front of the house. And here is our bed set up with little nightstands. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys like a whole view of everything from right here. So this is a really, really spacious room. Over here is going to be the bathroom. We're going to walk in and we have this little cabinet right here that has a lot of space and shelves, drawers, under the sink storage. Here's the sink. 
Here's the uh, toilet and the shower. Here is the closet. It's a small walk-in closet. Right now it's empty because we're packing up our clothes first. So this is basically my side, which is already cleared out of clothes. We still have some clothes to fold right here. But here is the whole closet. So we basically have my husband's side and my side. Right here. Going back out of the master bedroom, we're going to go ahead and go back down the hallway. Here we have a little built-in desk where we have our printer. We have printer paper, ink up there and stuff, supplies. Over here is the second bathroom, which is basically my husband's bathroom because we he used this when I used the other one. This is a little bigger. It has one sink and it has a bunch of space over here for the counter, the shower over there, toilet, and then it also has the same little cabinet space right here. The view from the guest, the guest bathroom. Okay, let's go out. Go ahead and go over here to the left. This one, this right here is a linen closet. It just has wire shelves in there. This is where the water heater is. We don't open that. And here are the two extra. This one. Going in here is one of the guest bedrooms. It's already taken apart almost because we're trying to get rid of this bed. But this is what we had in here. We have the queen bed right here. There's a closet in there that opens up. There's two doors. And here is a view from the window. It goes into the backyard. And this is, this is the size of this room. It's pretty decently sized. Here yeah. is this guest bedroom. It's around the same size, maybe a little bit bigger. But here we go. This is this room. Actually, we were going to use it as a guest room slash like office room. Uh, but I was only able to set up this little desk right here with my Cricut. We didn't really get time to set it all up. But we still were able to use it as a guest room. I had a friend stay here recently, so this is why the air mattress is out here. And here is the closet, like the other room. It has two doors that open up like this. This is what the closets look like. There's a lot of room here. And yeah, this is the second guest bedroom. We can go ahead and go back downstairs. And I'll show you guys the outside. We have a patio and a back fence and backyard. So here's a view actually from the upstairs if you guys want to see it from here. Living room, kitchen, the front room was over there and that. There is the patio. Yeah, there's a sliding glass door. We put a little doggy door in here for the dogs to go out whenever they want to when we're home. So here on this side, I got this little couch right here. Here on this side, we were able to get these chairs. So when people come over, we have a lot of chairs, a little couch, and we can just sit out here. Right now, it's a little hot and humid, so we haven't been re we haven't really been outside much. But here is the backyard. And it's actually been storming and raining lately, so we haven't really been able to cut the grass, and the grass has been growing a lot because of the rain. But here is the backyard, and this is a really, really, really big backyard for us because we have small dogs, so they really do have a lot of space out here. And this is what the yard looks like. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back inside. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the house tour. This was for Heroes Manor based housing here on Camp Lejeune. Uh, it's a very, very nice neighborhood. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any other questions or any questions about military housing in general, the move-in process, move-out process, or Heroes Manor or anything, go ahead and comment down below. And I'll get back to you and thank you for watching.